Hello everyone, welcome to Tony Talks. Happy Sunday. Bawo ni o shala fi ani mo ba yin. O ga o. Ah, sis, ah, mama yeye kudi no jade. Ni mo ni king gbe wa fun yin loni ojo sin mi. E je ka jo farabale, ka jo gba tun yeye kudi lori oro darocha ni won wa fun. You will love it. E no meji pere ni ma ba yin gbesi. Thank you for watching. Till I see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love you. Bye. Even is it Vanguard? Punch of Vanguard carried it. Meaning, it is authentic. You know, those kind of news line, they are, they, are, they are reliable. It's not blog spot. So that means that Darosha truly... All those things he said, as I'm watching, I will just talk on from the head for now. When I sit down, I will then show you people. We can still analyze more. But I can talk from because I read it word for word. Yesterday night. You know, in the course of last week, I I titled my chat, one of my chats, Darusha was 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 actually involved. And I called him out. I said, Darusha, in my list, you are among the suspect. And I table I tabled my reasons in fact team mubad justice for mubad i asked them also that why is it that we it's only speculation no? we learned that darosha is now driving mubad's car why because darosha is so involved in everything and he did answer one of the questions. The one I asked him that we were told that is the one that went to clean up the house where Mobad died, where he died. Because Mumi said that Liam is having nightmares or nightmare in that same house. Therefore, I don't know who rented the house, but they said it's, the house is what, where he, she moved to is what, six million. I don't know how far that is true. Liam, she claims, is the one having the nightmare. So she's moved out of that home where Mubad, bye. Remember Karimo came to lie on me. Remember she said, I am the one that is giving, threatening Mumi. She claimed that and I told you people that Karimo is trying to use this thing for refugee to seek asylum for women. They are planning to use it to go to American embassy. That was uh, Karimo's aim. She lied on me. She said, I am bullying. I am defaming. I'm also in, I, I threatening to buy women. Therefore, Mumi was having nightmares. You know, I'm always trying to make sure to get to the roots. Now, who is lying? It was said that it is Liam that is having nightmare. And you people know that definitely a child cannot have nightmare. This, that's not true. You can move out from a home personally as you but in the court of law Mumi said she's scared you understand it, it's possible it's possible that she's scared of reasons maybe people truly bullying her you understand people truly bullying her you get me so Karimo tried to pin that situation on me Looking for headlines. But God pass her. She tried it with me. God pass her. I just decided to leave Karimo. Because I see that Karimo is the one complicating issues for that family. Especially the sister, Wumi. That's why I don't want to be minuting on her. Because you know any small thing that she can come and start abusing me. And I, I don't care. I think I understand it, but you are woke up, or 
she's just like that. So I can't be bothered about Karimo. But that was Karimo's aim. But it didn't work out. So they, they, she used another... You know, she has said it that she's the one that brought her mother to America. So she wanted to use me to bring me to America. But along with God is not always behind lies. Not even always. God is never behind lies. God is never behind lies. If you plan it, plan evil on the right person, the one that is also doing evil, it will work. But me, if you plan it for me, you will be the one to fall inside it. Because never a time have I have asked her, tender me a proof of where you've heard me bully Wumi. If I call Wumi's name, I will always say, in, with Adura, with DJ, with, you know, I will always say they are all prime. So in fact, Wumi prime suspect alongside Adura and other. So if you are not talking about Adura, you are not talking about DJ, you are not talking about nurse, then it calls for concern. Because they were all with Mobad. Last few hours of his life. Foremost, before I continue with what I'm saying, I want to say clearly here, I am begging Tim Mobad, these things I'm going to say this morning or this afternoon, I will plead with you people, those of you fighting in Nigeria or anywhere or in diaspora, me, I'm only talking. And I will see the truth and I will say it. You people need another lawyer. One who is focused, who is specialized in criminal law. I'm talking like this because of the update that Russia gave. Falano and Co, they are all specialized in constitutional law. At this point, Mubaskets case needs someone. A lawyer specialized in criminal law. And I will state my reasons. I don't know what lawyer David is doing. Lawyer David, if you are hearing me. I am not impressed with all that is happening. I am not happy with all that is happening about Mubad's death. We have been talking about this thing for months. And it seemed like we are not making any edge way. It seemed like we are stagnant. It seemed like all of you have compromised. I wouldn't even use the word seemingly. I would say you have all compromised. Team Justice for Mobad. You people need to get a lawyer specialized in criminal law. And I will state every reason one after another here. It has gotten to that point. Why I'm suggesting that to you people. I hope you all listen. At this point, I'm of the strong belief. Nothing can change my mind. Moba did not die a natural death. Yes. Caught me. I am of the strong be I didn't see Mobad in my dream. Emi ori Mobad ilo juala. But with everything happening around Mobad now, with all I am seeing, I suspect that Mobad did not die a natural death. Sam Larry, they need to bring you back. And I will tell you people, as I'm mentioning it, please be writing that because it's as my head is narrating it. That's the same way I am saying it to you people. I will express myself as I'm saying it. I just need to calm down that I am not very angry. Darosha, come here. You know why I'm pitying you people? A lot, all of you, that that boy fed. All of you, that that boy helped. All of you, that that boy lived for. 
all of you that that boy did not end up fulfilling destiny for. You all betrayed him. But boy, let that more bad. Not a single one of you will I exempt from this issue. And it's not only a shame on you people. It is disheartening that fellow Nigerians who have stood up to fight this cause with you people, you people want to make us look stupid. Mobad will not be buried until we know what took the life of Mobad. Take it or you leave it. If they like Mama, da, Mama Mobad, let the police be telling you they have released the body of Mubad to the father and you come out again and still come and cry. We are not going to listen. The fact that you have all wasted we that love Mubad, truly seeking justice for Mubad, you have wasted our emotions, our time, our energy, you want to turn it around and give us reverse psychology by saying that we are using it to make money. Meanwhile, you want this reason many of us to back off so that you people can go and bury that boy that you killed. Tepa. Now, you know I suggested, and I bet many other, thanks to all bloggers, thanks to many of you out there fighting this cause sincerely. Justice for Mobad. I want to appreciate you people. You will never encounter this kind of family. Or a friend. Or an uncle. Or a, a business associate. Like the one Mobad encountered. Your children, mine, will never encounter things like this. This situation. I pray. You know... We suggested, and I all personally, I'll talk for myself, that Baba Mobad should go and check. I have said it more than, I can't remember many times, that they should go and examine the body of Mobad in the mortuary. If you have heard me say that, please raise your hand up. They are not allowing them. Why, are, why is the person in charge, the officer in charge, saying that they are on, on a course? They've gone to, they, they, are, they, are, they are on a course. Which course? How does it concern a, a mere carbon, I mean, cardboard, like they say, call our body when we are dead? How does it concern? Who, which, who, who, the officer in charge, how does it concern us? How does it concern them? They are going there. The man has to break all protocol. Number one in, in Yoruba tradition, a man must not, or a mother or father, an elderly person should not see the death or a, a corpse of a, of, of, of a child or, you understand, as an, a mother or a father or anything. But because it is mandatory that they go and check all the body of this boy. They are not allowing them with all effort. Now the claim is the officer is on a course. More or less trying to stop him from going to check the body of Mobad. Why? What is it that you people are hiding? What are you people hiding? Why are you people, whoever is gone for a course, who cares about the officer in charge who has gone for a course? Mobad's body. After all, when Mama Mobad came to you people, Nigeria Police Force, it was said that, hey, oh, 
Mobad's body has been released to the father. Okay. So if it, it is good, it is calm, it is cool for the father to go and bury him. But the father has refused to bury him until he is sure that all coast clear, like Sam Larry said, said, all police stations settled. Like Sam Larry said, all coast cleared, all police stations settled. Why are you people not allowing him to go and check the body of his child? Why? You people told us, God does so well, no? You people told us, God does so well, no? You told us that they will exhume this body. Your delegate, your deputy, went to Mama Mobad, who is surely not interested in justice for Mobad. She doesn't want to know what in by Mobad. She's interested in burying Mobad, but she doesn't want us to know. Re give it, doing reverse psychology on us. That are shouting, that have been shouting from day one. We the true Abiyamos. We must know waiting by Mubad. Governor Sawolu, you said that you are going to make sure your deputy, they will tell us what by Mubad. You people claim you have taken the autopsy to America. I'll be wherever. It was, we saw it, I read it in a, on, a, uh, uh, on the news line on, from a reliable source. Because if it was a block spot, I probably would say it's speculation. Till now, we are not hearing you people say anything about it anymore. The country is not talking to us. The state is not talking to us about Mubad. We want to check Mubad's body. Every side, every part of his body. You people must allow us. The father, if Mumi is interested, and every other person, lawyer from Fala, no? Mobat's lawyer. Not Mobat's lawyer. Baba Mobat's lawyer. And these people that are truly for justice for Mobat, everybody, they need to go and check Mobat's body from head to toe. What is it? Why are you crying? <laughs> That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Is it game? No, because I don't find that based on speculation. I always want to say it as it is. Mobat's body must be checked from head to toe. That is still part of the autopsy. They said. They've gone to do the tox toxicology in America and anything. I can't see anything happening. I see game being played here. I see game, sir. Governor Sawolu, Nigeria police force. I see game here. I don't know what is happening. I'm talking for myself. As one of the concerned citizens regarding the death of Mubad. No, we have to know what by that boy. That boy, now with what I, I, I am saying that they are not allowing them to check the body of that boy, I will say with, with no, I'm not remorseful, I'm not, I'm not going to take it back. They killed that boy. I have been trying my best to be very diplomatic, assuming they are cooperating with everything. Then the delay of the autopsy, it calls for concern. Sir, they did autopsy for Steve Sylvester. The father is not convinced with the result. He's doing his independent um, autopsy. And his, the son is still in the mug there. It's over a year. Sylvester is a young lad that the father suspects that his son was poisoned in Doen or Bowen College in Lagos State. He's still there. Why the rush?
for Mama Mubad. Why did she come out crying to the world that the police told her they have released Mubad's body? Okay, the things that we need to do to be sure that uh -huh, this boy, they did not kill him. Your police, Nigerian police force, they said the man in charge, the officer in charge is gone for a cause. Please, sir, look into this. Look into this. Darosha is your case today. All of you, you are all wicked. All of you, you are all wicked. Now I'm beginning to think, why is it that nothing is pinned down on Sam Larry? Please, can they give us the evidence? Evidence to prove to us that Sam Larry truly Mobad was owing him two million that she, he was meant to come and play at his mother's barrier and he did not turn up hence the reason why he went around bullying assaulting disgracing demeaning Mobad because of two million why did Wumi in the first place after Mobad's death who was she referring to that they should take their trophy. They have by her husband. Who? We want to know. She said all his life he was under threat. Sam Larry, who was threatening Mubad? It is you. Could it be just because of two million you were threatening Mubad's life? At a point, Mubad became suicidal. We want to know. I am among the people that wants to know. Team Justice Mobad, you people are not working. Mm -mm. Nigeria Team Justice Mobad, you are not working. What are you people looking at? What is the lawyer David Abi? What's his name? He's not working. He is not working. You need a, a, a lawyer specialized in criminal law. They buy Mobad. They buy Mobad. I don't want to know how, when, how they did it. But there is a conspiracy here. Because there's no reason why the police will not allow them. Baba Mobad, in the moment he asked for it, they should just say, yours truly to him. After all, it's his child. He wants to examine his body who the officer in, in charge or if he don't if he wants to be there good surround them with police all they need to do with a doctor and himself and everybody anybody's doctor should all be there they need a must examine Muba's body we they need a must examine Muba's body who are the people? And what is the reason why Wumi told us that blah, 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 in, you know, threatening. They didn't allow him to have a good life. He died. He kinikon, he shaking it on until he's dead. Take your trophy. Who? Please, everybody. It's common sense. Who are the people? Sam Larry said, all station settled, no case. Why was it after the death of Mobad, within 24 hours, we got that on air? Governor Sawolu. It is not a curse. Your wife is a pastor and she's a medical doctor. You people are too quiet over this case. It should not linger on this long. Assuming actions. Assuming action. After the corona case, we are getting a butter. 
you people should better get one specialized in criminal law because all this uh, constitutional law you people are using it's not it has nothing to do with the case on ground i can tell you people k bossman with what i've been able to put together and i'm saying the crime or bad not they whoever paid me bad must be brought to book we can't waste our emotions we can't waste our energy we can't waste our tears true abiamos those fighting this cause to see the end of it we don't even care at this point if all the ungrateful people surrounding mobad do not care about justice for mobad we do and we must see it to the end sam larry the reason why i'm holding on to you is because i'm still wondering why in the court of law mumi gave no testimony against you so i'm asking i'm wondering who is she referring to that took a trophy i want to know the people that took the trophy I want to know. We want to know. We that have been talking. We want to know. Darosha. You are the one that embalmed Mobad. <laughs> Can I invite you to Ogun State? If you agree with me, I will make sure I come down to Nigeria. You should come and drink water of Ailala. That's all. Me and you, Darosha. In this matter, I've never committed myself to a... I want to raise fund for Lagbaja. I want to raise fund for Tamedu. But you, Darosha, you are the only one I want to tackle. I will come to Nigeria. If you tell me your location... All I need you to do is I la la between me and you. Just you alone. I want your your older ones and your mother's younger sister that once spoke the truth that she saw blood in Moba's house. Me and you, if you are truly all innocent, I'm coming down to I will come to Nigeria. And we go to Ailala. Just you. By the time you are down, I know others will go down. You know more than you have spilled on that your rubbish write up. And you will live to regret it. That depression you are saying that. Is going to be transferred to others that are talking about it that are leading you to depression you will see that depression if nothing happens to you people should not talk to me again i want us to go to ailala i'm i know that god will deal with you but i want me and you this case as he pay me rich only you that i know i want to hold on to you i want to use you as an example to others so that they can begin to confess. Please, anybody that knows Moba's mother and Moba's mother's sister, they should release Moba's brother, uncle, Darosha for me. We sh and they should come too. I will come down to Nigeria myself. Everybody, we will do it public. It will be streamed live. You should just come and drink Ailala water. If he can respond to me, I will be so happy. The same way he wrote an epistle of his innocence. If he can say he is ready, we should, we should, you all should be ready. I will, I will go to Nigeria. I'm not going to say, go and meet. Mm -mm. I will be there. We will go and do Ailala. Because your own case, Naim, pay me pass. You were suffering. You were jobless. You were suffering. 
you were jobless. This boy took you people. Same way he came from ghetto. He was suffering as well. He was suffering as well. God opened doors for him. Many of you know his situation. He decided to bring his ghetto family around him. And you all want to cover up his debt? Darusha is you, me, out of everybody. You know why I'm going to deal with you? Because you owe it more to Mobad. You owe the truth more to Mobad. That's rubbish you wrote out. I won't say anything more than let us go to Ailala. Your own case, I want instant judgment for you. I want instant judgment for you, pending the others that will go down with you. You, Darosha, I want instant judgment for you. And if you do not answer to this Ailala, then everybody should know that you are, have a hand in the death of Mobad. You know a lot. You know a lot. Mama Mobad, Emma Pelembe Nyeke. So, the death of Mobad, you are there under your nose. Because that Adura's father went to Uncle Yomi. You are, you, me, I didn't see it too. Because that one I didn't say, I only heard they said your son, the son, the father. Mama, Mama Mubad. Ah. I knew him as she me. Ah. So, your son, Adura, the son, the father, because he went to Uncle Yomi. Because he went to Onkori Yomi. Please. What does Onkori Yomi stand for? The world at large. All of us. What does Onkori Yomi, st Onkori Yomi stand for? Mama Mubad. What does Onkori Yomi stand for? Truth. Justice. So because Baba Mubad went to Onkori Yomi for truth and justice. Your son. Under your nose. The son, the mother, the father. Ah, uh, somebody looking to know what by Mobad, a boy that took care of you, Mama Mobad. Ten years and not see mommy. In fact, they said it's more than that. A boy that took Adura away from the dad when they said he wasn't behaving good. And the father didn't have the energy and the money. A boy that took him just two years ago and brought him to stay with him. That same boy, your son, you so call him. Died. And the father is restless. He's not getting justice for his death. Doesn't know why they are holding on. Autopsy doesn't even know why you came out to come and be crying wolf. Release the son, he's walking up and down, his spirit is not resting. Let me bury my son without justice for the boy. They are using you to tackle Baba Mubad and tackle we. Where do you think our tears? Where do you think we should put it? Where do you think all the energy we have been using to shout, shout, shout? Where do you think you just want all our efforts wasted? Then to cap it whilst you are alive. We are seeking justice for Mobad. The same man that will help us. You supported Adura to agree. You supported. Because if you did not support, you should have told Adura to debunk that story that I never disowned my father. Like Darusha came out to debunk 
allegations, which I know many of those things, I'm going to explain it to you people one after another. Because assuming, in fact, when Baba Mobad went to uh, Kori Yomi, I was even looking, is this man, are these people well upstairs? He was looking for excuses for that Adora. He also looks for excuse for Mobad's older sister. When they asked about the two of them, he said, oh, people should not take anything personal with the Adura. The Adura is quiet. It's not posing. He's a quiet boy. I was seeing in my head, is this man okay? How can you be quiet over the death of your brother that is helping you? That is kind to you people. Then the other brother, the other sister, ah, ah, that one is married. The husband may not have allowed her to join the justice for mobile cause. Can you imagine? What a family. I was thinking in my head, is this man okay? Looking for excuses for the children. When we can see that they are not actively involved in this justice for Mobad. Glaringly. They are not actively involved. None of them. What kind of family is this? Then to my own surprise, I learned Adura disowned the father. Over this. Tell me, why is Adura disowning the father? Because the father have refused that they bury Mobad until he gets justice. Can you be angry over such a thing? These people, all of them need to go to jail. All of them are prime suspects. Because Adura was right beside the brother, living in the same house with the brother. And somebody is saying, I want justice for this boy. We must not wait and fight this boy. For this reason, you disown your papa. You people should ask me, what did Baba Moba do to Moba, uh, Adura? What? At least, we should all say it. After all, Baba Moba told us, publicly that he's been trying to reach his son and have not been able to connect with him he has even called at one time that he should come and see him but he didn't come so definitely they have not spoken since after Mobad's death so what we warrant i disown you daddy after he saw the daddy at okuri your miss please this same darusha is mama Mobad's brother Hello? Can you take this out? Yeah. Close the door. This same Mobad is Mama, da, Mama Mobad's sister, uh, brother. Some are even saying that he's the nephew, but I learned his brother. Anyway, Mobad's uncle. What is happening? What is happening? Can't you see something is not right with these people? Why are they not joining course? Why are they not joining course to seek justice for Mobad? Why are they not fighting this cause with us? Why are they not crying more than us? Why are they not fighting more than us? Why are they not interested in justice for Mobad? At least, Orabia Molilena, wife, uh, mother, brother, uncle. Why? Why did they all hire lawyer? How did Falan not get into this matter? We thought Falan was for the public. We thought, personally, I thought Pafalano came into this matter just the same way he came into Timothy's case. Lawyer Falano, you are an activist. Your attention is also needed. I thought you came into this case to seek justice for Mobad. The same way you seek justice for Timothy. Why are we not hearing from you? Why is your wife not talking to us? Because she was the one that went to represent 
the first day of hearing. Why are you people only talking to Wumi? Was that the way you people handled Timothy's case? What's that? I smell rats. Something isn't right with this case. Something isn't right in with this case. What is really happening? I heard from Uncle Yomi. You know, I told you people, he said, they told me he's going for rally. He actually at the rally, he mentioned about Mubad. That when he got in, involved in Mubad's case, that they have said tampering with his page. I will play it. I'm cleaning stuff here. I will play it. That they have said tampering with his case, with his page. Why? Why? If there's nothing you people are hiding. Why? Why are you people tampering with Okori or Miss Page? Because he's now involved in justice for Mubad. He said if it is Baba Mubad, the Pai son is going down. It will teach others, other fathers who pay their son. It will act as a deterrence to them. If it is Mama Mubad, she's going down. If it is wife Mubad, she is going down. If it is brother to Mubad, he is also going down. If it is uncle Darosha, they are all going down. If it is prime boy, going down. If it is Sam Larry, all of you, you are all going down. Isn't that objective enough? So who are the people tackling Uncle Oyomi? I heard him say it. I will play it. Why are you people tackling Uncle Yomi, why are you trying to silence him? Is there anything we do not know? God don't so wolu. Hey, sir, your wife is a medical doctor. Can you ask her, do autopsy take forever like this? Why aren't you people talking to us? We cried justice for Mobad. We. The public cried justice for Mubad. Why are you people not answering us? Why are you people not talking to us? Why are they taking everything as if nothing even happened? Why is it the nurse? The nurse you people accused. Because it is the police that said, Nigeria police force, I'm suspecting you people. Your story differs from the witness, their story. What you told the public, the conference you people told, gave, had with us, told us, the story you gave us is completely different from what Wumi said. What is happening? Nigerian police force, I think they need... Vijf manieren die jou helpen om slimme financiële keuzes te maken. Heb je aan het einde van de maand nog wat geld over, weersta dan de verleiding om alles alsnog uit te geven en kies ervoor om het opzij te zetten. Meer weten? Bekijk dan de hele aflevering van 101. Ik moet je arresteren, de mensen die primairly started this, the, the investigation. You people didn't do it right. I can clearly state that. Because the nurse is saying, all the medication you claimed the nurse gave the 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 the, the uh, 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 Mobad, she said that's not what she brought. She said she didn't give that injection, and I can believe her over you people because all what you told us is different from what Wumi told us, and you were not there. So where did you get your narrative from? Is there is there more to this Mobad's death that we don't understand? Why are you people, we don't even they know the nurse page. Shara, you people claim you remanded in court study. Why is it that they are not allowing her talk? The lawyer, lawyer David, asked that she also come to the court for the corona inquest. It was overruled. Why? Is there more to this matter? If the nurse says she did not give all, administer all those drugs or injection that was claimed 
that was claimed by the police that she administered that when they got to the house, they made some injection and she said she's not aware. What is happening? Nigerians, there's more to Moba's death. My independent, reasonable thinking, I have sat down. Everything I have been thinking, you know I told you people, I said by the time the autopsy comes out, many of you will be shocked. This is because I truly thought they're going to do autopsy. I told you people from day one, later when we say hearing the truth, I said when the result comes out, many of you, you will be shocked. This is because I believed that they've gone to do the autopsy. But I am surprised. Governor Sowodu, your wife is a medical doctor. She, she knows better. Why is my bad's autopsy taking forever? What happened? Why is the cause of death taking forever? Why all these people hiring lawyer here and there? Lawyer Fala, no. Are you meant to be for the public or you are solely for women? Why are you a lawyer for women? Why? If women is a witness, she doesn't need a lawyer. She's not been declared a criminal. Why are you solely working for women? Why aren't you talking to us the same way you did? During Timothy's time, it calls for concern. Governor Sawonu, you all have your children. Lawyer Fana, no, you have your children. You have your children. What happened to Mobad? If you people don't want it to repeat history in everyone's life that tries to obstruct justice for Mobad. We want to know the truth. Nigeria police force, I learned they have removed the one that was there that gave us the press conference. You do who, whatever. Whoever is there now, if you are acting or you are the original, we want to know the truth. If not, we are coming out naked with our breast in the midnight to place curses on everyone that knows a white mobad and they do not want us to know. And they do not want justice to play and take his due course. We will come out naked. I'm a jade for it on Take it or you leave it. Darosha, it is me and you. I want to believe that Governor Sowolu will hear us. There's still way. Me and you, we need to go to Ailala. Darosha. Me and you, we need to go to Ayilala. I'm not have, I'm not joking with you. I've, I'm I'm challenging you, your mother. I be your. You say your father is dead. That is you because of what you, you how you embalm your father. That's how you learned how to embalm people. What did you see when they when you embalm Mubad? Tell the world, um, Darusha. Tell the world, what did you see when you embalmed Mubad? Tell the world. You, me and you, because you are the one that embalmed Mubad. And I'm holding on to you. Because you, you know more. And you are the one that, you are even the one that should never betray Mubad. Toria, he won't do anything. He won't share I manage o o te ba yi eje ti mo ba di fi mu etira ko ye ko da mu bad ai lala lo le se tu emi ati e ai lala i do not want to go the route of justice for mobad with you